Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel here on YouTube. with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. I hope you're all doing good and well. Um, I just found this uh, tremolo. I, 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 about a year ago, I did a little series called Tremolo Tuesdays. Uh, maybe two years ago. I don't know. Um, cause I, I have a, a really, I love tremolo harmonicas. I absolutely love them. I have a pretty extensive collection of like uh Chinese knockoff or not knockoff, but like, you know, cheap Chinese uh harmonicas in the tremolo style. I do have a a beautiful um uh, Sadel uh tremolo that Patrick Keelan sent me. Uh couple of years ago um this is a a sailor steel model and it's in the key of d uh, yeah it's very beautiful um, you know this is a great great tremolo but uh Anyhow, that's not why I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing this video to talk about this, I don't know, that's harmonica. Um, <laughs> I'm a little confused here. Uh, yeah, so I found this, uh, you know, I got harmonicas all over the place. Just, just cause I do. From years of collecting them and playing them and stuff. And I found this little uh, victory tremolo harp. I got to hold it together with a with a with a pipe cleaner there, because <laughs> uh, I just don't have a screw. I don't have a screw that's big enough right now. Um, but I, when I get one, I'll fix it up with that. I really like this harmonica a lot. It's got it's it's got a lot of holes, but it's really only got eight notes, like or eight eight holes. Um, because each, let's see, how, uh, maybe I'm right, one, like each four holes equals one hole, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes, so there's really only, Yeah, I often find these, uh, these are tuned kind of weird, um, like they're a little different than playing a, a normal 10-hole diatonic, they got, like, I don't know, you know, one thing you don't got to worry about with tremolo is, uh, you don't have to play bends, because you really can't, um, they're not meant for bending, but I, I, you know, I've done a number of videos on, can you play blues on a tremolo harmonica, and of course you can. You can play blues on anything. Um, you know, the blues is the blues. It's not the instrument you play it on. It's the feeling that's behind it. You know? Um...
This isn't the bluesiest uh, tremolo I've played, but uh, I sure do like it. I'm glad I found it. Um, yeah, probably probably the my my favorite tremolo harp I've ever owned was a little uh, Honer Echo harp. Um, it was seven holes, like seven f four holes kind of thing, you know. Um, seven. It was one note less than this. Uh, it was just such a well-made harmonica. It was like a vintage echo pocket harp, you know. And uh, I, I, it was given to me. I bought a couple of chromatics from a, a, an old music shop in town, and they threw that in for free. So I thought that was pretty nice. But I it ended up getting left in a, the back of an amplifier. Uh, one time I lived in this apartment on... Uh, on Hunter Street, and the landlord, uh, we I, I had to keep a bunch of my musical equipment in the basement, like stuff I didn't really use that much. I had an old uh, uh, Harmony Flying V. Um, I had this old tube amp that I didn't I didn't use that much because it was it wasn't grounded. Um, I had a oh golly, I don't even want to think about what I lost. Anyway, what happened was the landlord came and cleaned, like, cleaned out the basement for some reason and ended up giving all my musical instruments out to his grandchildren and children. And, uh, you know, and I had to be the guy who, you know, called up and said, hey, man, you stole all my musical gear. And uh, what's up with that? You know, and it was just a bit, it was so long ago, it was like a decade ago, um, but, uh, anyway, I ended up getting it all back, like, he ended up, like, just putting it back in the basement, um, but it was, it was a pretty tumultuous time of life, and, uh, when we left that apartment, I ended up, uh, just leaving it there, because I thought, well, you know, wherever I'm going, I don't have room for this stuff, and, you know, I have everything I need for music. Um, this guy, you know, maybe this guy can redistribute it to his children and grandchildren. And I won't be such a, <laughs> but you know, whatever. Uh, not that I did anything wrong in the first place, but yeah. Anyway, I hope they, I hope they're all enjoying it. Um, enjoying that stuff. Uh, praise God, you know. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe one of those kids found that harmonica and is an ace player now, you know, that'd be, that'd be pretty excellent. Um, yeah. Um, I also got a box, this is just kind of a random vlog, I'm, you know, it's, it's been, uh, I'm having a time, uh, these last couple of days, I, I recently uh, found out a good friend of mine died, and uh, it's a couple of days ago. There's just a whole bunch of stuff surrounding that that uh, left me feeling pretty pretty rotten. But uh, I'm pretty sad that my friend died. Um, yeah, but uh, so I'm trying to I'm trying to do stuff. Uh, like I'm trying to write a song right now. Uh, Pastor Brian put it in my head to write a song. Uh, I won't even give away the title or nothing, but and I'm just I'm on the first draft of the lyrics right now, so <laughs> it's it's coming. Uh, it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a pretty uh, pretty gritty lo-fi tune when I'm done with it though. It's gonna be cool. Um, and Hillary, God bless her. God bless Hillary. I haven't had a dip in, well, okay, as before uh, a couple hours ago, I hadn't had a dip in like two weeks because I ran out of dip. And, you know, usually the dip by dip, the, the dip by dip, dip by dip, um, comes from, uh, you know, friends send it to me from the States, you know. And, uh you know, that, that sometimes happens in abundance and sometimes just can't happen, you know? Um, I never ask, I never ask for anything. Um, but 
I'm very, I'm very blessed that uh, people send me stuff. Now, when it comes to tobacco, I'm trying uh, to, to uh, at least very much minimalize my tobacco use these days. Um, you know, I hadn't had a dip for a couple weeks, you know, and uh, so I, you know, I, I had bought a, a small pack of cigarettes and I was smoking a couple cigarettes a day just to keep from going crazy, but um, now I don't have to do that anymore, I, which is good because I'm not, I'm not into it, but uh, but yeah, so Hillary sent me uh, sent me some dip. Um, I got a couple, there's a couple good cans in here. Uh, <laughs> that's a precursor. Um, you know, I got a can of Kodiak, which is amazing. Uh, a can of Cougar, uh, long cut straight. Cougar is great, although it's every time there's a discount with dip, suit and tie dip and chew guy has this complaint as well. Every time there's a discount on a dip product, they have to advertise it in this canary yellow, which never goes well with the color scheme of the can, <laughs> you know. Um, but this is great dip. I love it. And, uh, and Stoker's, of course, which is my favorite. Um, but, uh, anyway, anyhow, uh, she found, uh, Klondike. Klondike, thinking it was, uh, thinking it was Kodiak, uh, at a dollar, dollar sixty a can. Um, <laughs> She sent me uh she sent me a roll of Klondike Long Cut Straight. Uh a roll of Klondike Long Cut Peppermint. And it's 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 not mint, it's peppermint. So uh yeah. And uh she sent me two rolls of wintergreen. I've opened one already. Four cans. I got one in my pocket. But uh, um, and this is the. I'm hoping this dip will. I've not. I've read nothing but treacherous reviews of it. Um, or heard nothing but treacherous reviews of it. Uh, but I actually, I like. I other than the cut of it, I I actually kind of like the wintergreen. I'm gonna do reviews of all of these, uh, coming up. So all my tobacco review people um uh, will have something new for the first time in months <laughs> and uh i'm sorry it's got to be klondike but that's what it is so yeah gonna do uh reviews of these it's it sure is nice to have some dipping tobacco i'll tell you but yeah six bucks a roll man Six bucks a roll in Canada. These this would be thirty dollars a can. You know, it's crazy, it's crazy. But anyhow, this video is coming to a close, people. I just wanted to hop on and talk to you about that and this, and some other stuff. This needs some cleaning up. It's got some scuff into it, goober marks and stuff. I don't know. It's keeping it real, people. All right. Well, uh, what else can I tell you to close off with? Uh, look, keep keep your ears peeled for my album. My new album coming out in uh, 15, 14, or two weeks. Coming out in two weeks. The, the the actor and the criminal is uh, coming out in two weeks, so I'm excited about that. But uh, other than that, God bless you all. Stay free. Be well. I hope you're all having an awesome day. And uh, thanks for watching the Dirty Pat Walsh channel here on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. I just threw that in for Justin there. Uh, yeah. All right. Bye now.